it's another unboxing guys I'm so excited Greetings fellow fragrance lovers. I am so excited with today's unboxing. I've got Galan Samsara Eau de Parfum. Uh, I mean just holding this bottle I already feel like I've got plus 10 with elegance plus 10 poise just by having this I don't know, there's just something about Guerlain and the bottle designs that I just love. Ever since I first saw them when I went to the counter in, um, I think it was in Harvey Nicks. Yes, they have a boutique in Harvey Nicks. Uh, for those of you that are not British, Harvey Nichols is like a really big department sh uh, shop that's got like different boutique places in it. But yeah, I've been so keen to actually... <laughs> buy another Guerlain. So one of my favorite perfumes is Mongolan and I have Mongolan Intense and I have Mongolan Eau de Toilette and I generally like a lot of the Mongol of the Guerlains. I've got a sample of the Aqua Allegoria Ginger Picante. I loved the Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fees. So my plan is over the next few years i'll just be adding a galan to my collection every three months or so and then in a few years i should have a lot but here we go now i admit i only tried this once when i went into the shop way back way back in december and i tried it once and i got a carded sample and i and i liked it and when it came to buying another Guerlain, because it was that time, I was like, I'm going to get some Sarah, you know. But I didn't actually try it on my skin. So this is going to be the first time that I get to try it on my uh, skin. So the other thing is, I fell in love with the idea of Samsara when I read the history of this perfume. So first of all, House of Guerlain has been around since the beginning of European perfumery in, you know, hundreds of years a uh, hundred years ago so it's got a rich heritage and a rich tradition which attracted me I quite like vintage stuff as well I like vintage clothes and I also like a vintage sewing machines so vintage perfumes why not add it to the vintage list and it's just really fascinating the story about how this came uh, to be so <laughs> I'm going to check out the notes profile. So this has got a lot of uh, notes. We have the top notes are Ylang Ylang, peach, bergamot, green notes, and lemon. Middle notes are iris, jasmine, narcissus, orris root, rose, and violet. And the base notes, sandalwood, I love sandalwood, vanilla, I love vanilla, iris amber tonka bean i love tonka bean and musk so let's go oh gosh you're not supposed to shake perfumes are you i need to stop that right here we go 
not getting anything off the bottle. I'm going to try this on my skin, actually. Oh, wow. The vaporizer, the atomizer. Mm. So I'm getting the lemon at the opening right there. That must be coming from the bergamot. The lemon is definitely coming through. And right from the start, the sandalwood and the jasmine, they're there as well. Oh, my days. It's very creamy. It's coming through from the sandalwood, the creaminess. It's, oh, I just feel like it's intoxicating me. Like, oh, wow. If I had to think of this in terms of wine, in terms of red wines, this for me feels like it's a really full bodied full rounded fragrance you know and it's definitely definitely a mature free this isn't a fruity floral celeb scent type thing this this is i am woman and i have arrived you know and i am confident enough in my humanity to not push it all up in your face. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I, ah, I feel a certain deference already to the fragrance itself. I feel, I feel like it's pulling me up, you know, like it's pulling my spine to make me more poised, more straight, you know, lower those shoulders, shoulders back, chin up. And it's like an air of mystery to it as well. And it's got this really beautiful, the jasmine. Oh my gosh, the jasmine in this is so beautiful. Now, I understand that this isn't the original formulation. From what I have read, some people say that, you know, it's now become a terrible formulation. But for somebody who wasn't doing perfumes, who wasn't even around in the 80s when perfumes were being bought, around in the sense of, you know, I wasn't working, I didn't have my own money, I was just a kid playing double dutch. This smells amazing. It absolutely smells amazing compared to the some of the other stuff that is around. Oh, I mean, I would love to actually try out a vintage original formulation of this, or at least from the 80s, to see what the difference is. Because if people are saying that this isn't as good, my goodness, what is that original one like? But I love this. I feel like I would wear this with flowy fabrics, with like um, a flowy dress, maybe that's, you know, you know, the sort of dresses that just sort of like um, the strap slips off a little bit sometimes to show a little bit of your shoulder. And it's like a maxi dress. <laughs> I can see myself. Yeah, I can actually see myself wearing this even in summer. And even right now, actually, that's the other thing. It does feel like something that I could wear in winter as well. So it's been about 10 minutes later now. And the muskiness is beginning to really come through. Oh, and it is so beautiful. It's heady. It's intoxicating. It's like walking past a, a jasmine plant that's like in full bloom and it's towards sunset and it's like throwing out all of its heady intoxicating scent i have to say though that even though it's been on my skin for a while i'm still struggling to pick up the vanilla note i know it's got vanilla in the base but the sandalwood and the musk and the amber so there's the warmth the warmth is beginning to come through from the amber but I'm struggling to pick out the vanilla, but I love it. I am so glad that I got this and that I've added this to my collection. This is beloved. Plus the bottle is gorgeous. It's got the bees on it. It's such a beautiful looking bottle. And it's got those rounded caps that I really like. The sort of caps that you also have on a Jessica Simpson Fancy. I like these little ball caps. It's got such a beautiful vintage vibe. The atomizer, bang on. Can't complain about that because not all atomizers are made equal. Fantastic addition. Hey guys, it's been about half an hour now. 
and I wanted to say that the Yilan Yilan has come forth and it is so bright and uplifting within this fragrance. It's giving it a certain luminosity, like a light has switched on on the inside. You guys, I love it. I uh, I'm going to be getting some more Galans. It's official. It's official. I think it's my favorite perfume. Uh, I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow. <laughs> this is going to be my scent for tomorrow. So that's Galan Samsara. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you found that review, the <laughs> unboxing, uh, informative and entertaining. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a Perfume Mad video, especially if you also love perfumes. Until I see you next time in the next video, take care now, guys. Bye.